So once we've got our builder brush in place and uh, we've used the standard box primitive here, um, we can change the shape of that. We're just focusing on this, um, either through the detail panel, um, which you might do initially if you're defining the shape of that brush. But um, a lot of the time, we tend to um, copy brushes around. So um, instead of creating a brush again from scratch, just alt dragging a brush and then reshaping it to whatever use you need it for. Um, and the way we do this is um, through the geometry editing mode, which is just here. Um, if you hit Shift 5, that's a shortcut to um, to geometry editing. And you've got these two options here, edit and extrude. That one's grayed out there, but I have to select a face for that one to work. Um, those two commands are the most heavily used here. Uh, we've got brush clip, we've got pen, and we've got lathe. And they're much less used. Um, Edit allows you to move geometry around. Extrude does what it sounds like. It will extrude a face out. Brush clip will allow you to put a cut through the geometry and you can either remove geometry using that method or um, actually putting a cut through it and splitting the geometry in two or the brush in two. Uh, the pen allows you to build um, a bespoke brush just by drawing with the pen. And a lathe allows you to create a a shape that can be then laved in the circular motion to make a new shape. Um, why you'd want to use those, I'm not really sure in, these day, in this day and age because you can just replace it with static mesh. Um, but I will show you them um, as best I can because it can be a bit flaky at times. Um, so I'll start with the edit brush anyway. Um, you can select, um, a, once you're in geometry editing mode, you can start selecting the face of a brush just by selecting it. Um, you can also select the vertices and you can select an edge just like that. Um, I can move that brush face around so I can make the brush bigger or smaller, pull out sections of it, that kind of thing. I could also do multi component selection so um, I can hold down control and add to that selection. So I've just added a vertex uh, to that and another face to that selection, so that's quite useful. If I go to extrude, um, this will allow me to just extrude, I can actually extrude more um, segments if I wanted to, but um, I could just pull out um, the face, and let go, and I've just done an extrude. And if I move it again, there's another extrude. So I could keep extruding all day if I don't want to do that and I just want to move stuff around and I just go back to edit mode and then I can move it and there you go, it's not an extrusion. Actually we'll just do it this way so you can see. And we're just moving the face around, which is dead useful. Right then, the, uh, the lovely brush clip. Um, this, you can't use this in um, perspective mode. Um, I think it'll come with an error when you try to run it. Uh, so you have to be in orthographic mode, so I'll just focus on to the oops, just focus onto the mesh there. And um, you've got these little buttons here, checkboxes, that will do slightly different things. Uh, if I switch split off and I'll just leave it as it is, I hold down control, right click, and then let go and this will allow me to drag out basically where I'm going to put my cut, so I'm kind of marking out my cut and then control right click to place that. Um, we have a normal here which determines which way uh, we're going to make our cut and I can flip that normal and then make it cut the other way. So just to see what I mean, if we just watch this, we'll just go into this mode actually. And looking at it from the top. Um, and if I hit apply, you can see that it's just removed that piece of brush and that's completely gone. So we've got this brush left over. Uh, let's undo that. And I'll flip the normal, hit apply, and it's done it the other way. So it's actually removed that piece of brush there. And sometimes I might not want to do that. I might want to just um, let's undo that again. Um, split where I'm putting my cut. So keep both pieces of brush and hit apply. And you can see I've actually got two pieces of brush. So you may find that useful, you may not, uh, it's up to you. 
Okay, um, there's the pen tool. Uh, if I click on that, um, and we'll just this only works in the orthographic mode as well when you're building it, not in perspective mode. If I just move, let's maximise this actually, and um, move somewhere just off where that is, and start building. Um, just hold down Control and right click again, and start clicking, and you can just make a shape, whatever you want, a really odd shape would be good. That's really the main reason you'd use it if you have something quite unusual. And it won't complete until you join everything up back at the starting point. So as soon as I do that it's created a special brush. Um, really oddly shape. Um, I can't see a reason why you'd want to make this shape but then again maybe you would. Um, you have an, an, an extrusion based on whatever you put in here. I think the default is 256, but you can reduce it down. I've done it to 128. And if we go back to perspective mode, we can see it right there. And it's created this odd shape. So that's the pen tool. So if you wanted to create a bespoke brush for whatever reason, then you can. OK, so we've just created our crazy shape there. Um, you notice that the lathe option is actually greyed out. Um, in order to use that we do need to use the pen tool again um, but we can't use it with this brush here. What we have to do is create a brand new brush and get it to use it to create a shape basically. Um, so with this option ticked on um, I'm going to start creating a shape. And this is where it's really important to think about the, orthogon uh, the orthogonal uh, views. Um, because uh, if we build this shape in the wrong view we're going to get really weird results and lots of strange errors um, because what the lathe does is actually do a build around an axis, po um, axis point of 360 degrees so it does a, a rotation if you like and if it can't do that in the view that you've built um, your BSP in um, then you'll have horrible errors. So what I'm going to do is build in this one um, and I'm going to build a little profile. So this is the front view. I could do it in the left view if I wanted as well. But um, And just click here, control, right click and, and start building. So let's go for something that's quite big actually and just make a little shape here that's don't know if that's completely symmetrical but I'm not too worried. I've got a little shape, a little profile here. Um, it could be a piece of corridor or whatever. Um, notice that the brush is green. Okay, so um, that's the difference. It's, it's green if you create the brush shape, it's blue if you're just creating the brush. And if we go into perspective mode we can see that just there. If I zoom over here you can see it. And it's got no um, depth to it at all because it's just creating a brush shape. Uh, the depth will be created by our lathe and you may have noticed that the lathe option has become available so if I click on that um, I have these little settings here um, segments, total number of segments and the actual amount of segments uh, I think this is the default of 16 so what we're saying here is that the total amount of segments in a full rotation of 360 degree, degrees is 16 so if we set the amount of segments we wanted to create to 16 we would get a full rotation um, but with the default here that I've got 4 that is a quarter um, of 16 so that works out to be 90 degrees of 360 so so um, if I first stick with the 4 and the 16 um, we'll get to 90 degree arc and if I create click apply as is, I might get errors. What I need to do is make sure um, that I'm in the right orthographic port, which I am. I built it in the side view, but I'm actually in the top view here, uh, which is where I need to be. And I just need to move the pivot point so I'm going to get a nice angled arc because the pivot point's in the wrong place. Um, so if I just right click, let's right click over here in this point, and I've got this drop down menu, pivot, set pivot point here snapped should snap the pivot point to that point and then while I'm in the top view press apply 
and there we go um, I get my um, lathe happening going around 90 degrees there's four segments to it let's have a look in here there's four segments to it um, that's exactly what I want if I set, it, set that to be 16 I'd get a perfect round so there you go that's how uh, the lathe works so you have to use the pen tool um, in order to create your shape and then you lathe it um, if you do it wrongly and you select the wrong um, viewport you will get some kind of build probably not the shape that you're after but it'll come up with a whole load of errors as well so you'll know you've done something wrong as I said earlier um, brush clip pen and lathe are rarely used these days um, brushes are expensive so we tend to especially for block out just stick with simple shapes and then as soon as you're ready to do something more complex and this would be considered more complex then just replace it with static mesh that's the whole point of static meshes really um, they are cheaper um, on the system so brushes are expensive so use them sparingly okay thanks a lot